Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. In the last episode, we built out the rail lines to connect Oslo to Karlstad and then over to Karuna here. So that line is built, the rails are in, and we have a train on it. So, that is good, that is running. We're starting to see some passengers, a decent numbers. So that should start turning us a profit here soon. I hope. This boat is not doing so yet. It's getting close. All right, so we're gonna keep working on this passenger network and uh, the next leg is going to be along the uh, the bay here. Uh, Gothenburg, uh, Umea, and Vastavik here. I don't think there was another town along there. No, I did not put one out there. So, I mean, Baden's up there, but we're not going to go from Vastavik to Baden. We're most likely going to swing in here to Malmo and then head out to Baden. Malmo is going to be a hub. So, yeah. That is what we're thinking there. So, let's jump right on into it. So, we're going to find a spot to put a station for rail here in Gothenburg. I'm thinking up here on the hill. So let's see what our options are going to be. Two, 240 meters. That's going to be a seriously expensive because of all of that earthwork that needs to be done. So... Not sure what this roughly made means. Well, let's see. Yeah, it's not doing stuff that I like there. So we want to do something more along these lines. Side platforms. We're not putting electric on there. Why are you doing that? Going with era B. Bypassing track. We don't need a bypassing track at all. Uh, two eighty two Mikado is now available, and some Mack trucks. All right. Now. I also need to think about how the road is going to get there. Now, I could bring it down here by the coast. And then we could have a portion of the tracks go over the top of the town. I think that could work. I'll come onto that road. Or on this side of town. That side of the road might work better. And actually, if we can make this road a little bit more 
straight and level. That would be even better. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Surprised it even let me build it there. <laughs> but okay. Yeah, it'll basically let me build it directly on top of the road. That's interesting. That's what I'm looking for right there. These like heavy girders. I'm just saying collision for everything. Bridge pillar collision. Bridge pillar collision with what? There's there's nothing, literally nothing there. With itself. Okay. You look at each one of these to figure out what they actually are. See, will that one work? Definitely fighting with me somewhere. I don't want to do invisible bridge. I don't want to do that or that. That's a big, heavy. It is going to let me do it. All right, do it. That's fine. That's a big, heavy duty. We're going to see what the bridges look like coming off of that. Hmm. Hold on a minute. I wonder if it's the terrain that's causing the problem. It is, to some extent. What's going on with this road? spend all that money, but you know what? 
We're doing it. I think this is this is what's been fighting me here, the terrain. Alright, so road. We're actually gonna angle the road a little bit. Block to flat. Yep, that's what it was. Uh-huh. Okay. Alright, that fought me a little harder than I would have liked, but, you know, it's in. It already covers most of the town. We'll probably still do a tram line. Let's smooth our train back in. All right. How are we going to do... Trams. We're probably going to want to do a thing along those lines. If you back that whole road off, it's like come into there a little bit more smoothly. So then we want to put tram track on. There. We're going to keep this tram route a little bit simple. Rather than using one of those, uh, one of those special buildings. And for the trams here, um, we're going to stick to these. Did I give the...
Ah, uh, I see what I did there. There we go. So if we come out of there, swing along here. Another elevated station of the same style. Up here in the hills. works there or do we want to come down here up well enough so yeah we might want to make it a little bit taller Tear those roads out for a moment. Put that in over there. Have you run along the beach? You come down here. And that gives us good loop I can use for trams. I do this. Let me tear that word out. That will work. Do it. Got to add tram track there and there.
Actually, I think those could be in a better spot. Let's put them there. All right. New line. Why is that treating those like two separate? Hold on. As long as I have a pause, that's not going to disappear. So, oh, wrong color. That color. And we'll just put the depot over this end of town. And it should work. Nope, not, not the cargo trams. Those won't work. Uh-huh. A and B. Done. Huh. That's not something I like to be seeing there. I gotta take a look at that. Is there a there's a traffic jam that is the problem. Yes, because you should not have come. F there we go. Why don't I fix this intersection? Get rid of that. is just going to make things worse. All right. So what we're going to need to do is you get through there. You were trying to get through there. Like I need to have you flip around. But that's going to be a problem. So you are going to have to flip around. And you are going to have to flip around.
is a temporary piece of track to get you out of the way. Because now what you should do is you should stop there. Now everybody should be moving. All right, good. Uh, anybody else? Looks like they're in a traffic jam. Over here they are, but I think that's just because of the traffic jam that was up ahead. is a signal I have a signal there they're gonna need to be more like that this should have a signal blocking things off in that direction And probably in that direction. All right, so hopefully with all of that getting sorted out... other issues. I'm surprised that I did not get any warnings indicating that the trains were stuck. Well, I think it's because that while they were in a traffic jam, there weren't, like, two trains opposing each other. Yeah, there we go. Now... Now things are looking more like what they're supposed to. Okay. And yeah, 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 there we go. There we go. That's that's more, more what we want to see. Okay. All right, Foster Vic. Now. I don't know. I think this is going to be a through station. Another one of these. Probably not quite as tall. These are all going to be elevated stations. Taking advantage of the hills. Peter Witt Streetcar.
Let's see, I think it needs like a perfectly flat spot or else it doesn't like it, which is strange because the advantage of these elevated stations is supposed to be that you can more easily place them on hills. You know, elevation actually looks fine on that. Um, is this going to go through? Yeah, but yeah, 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 okay. We'll only need, we'll still only need two, two platforms. All right, drop that in. Kind of over here. Actually, it's going to be none and none with pullouts is what we're going to do here. Just to have a slightly fancier station. through here go through there we'll go through there all right so then our tram route will go along there And the rest of the actual stops are going to be let's see, right about there, right about there, and probably over here. That's fine. Trams on. All of them get painted. And then just two per line. And I, I messed up. I mistyped again. We will go ahead and end the episode there. And so next episode, we'll start plumbing in the track. We're going to have to swing it out of here, swing up into there. Somehow, we're going to have to probably swing around. We're going to have to punch a tunnel probably through that hill, come in there, and then roll along here and get connected in. Then put a train on it. So...
That'll do. All right. Good enough. We'll stop here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.